good, players? This week, we cheapened some of that Middle Earth scroll with The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Down in the hood of Bag End lives a hobbit by the name of Bilbo Baggins. Now hobbits be little shorties that don't like to do nothing but keep it chill and get their grub on. One day some nappy wizard name of Gandalf drops in at his crib rolling 13 dwarfs deep. Gandalf and the head dwarf Thorin asks if Bilbo want to go on an adventure. Turns out some punk ass dragon named Smog done boosted all them dwarfs bling and be shacking on their turf over at the Lonely Mountain. So they about to go lay a whoop on that dragon, know what I mean? But Bilbo don't want to do shit except stay home, smoke some trees, and take it easy. So Gandalf and his boys have to get that fool's ass and gear. Now after scrapping with some weak ass trolls and chilling with some pointy-eared players, Bilbo and his peeps roll up to the Misty Mountain, where some goblins start beefing with his boys, making everyone scatter across the mountain. Lost in the tunnels, Bilbo finds a fat ring just chilling on the ground. Then he peeps some janky scrub named Gollum creeping on his sh**. After serving his fool up, Bilbo uses the ring's invisibility power to escape the tunnels and meet back up with his crew. Seeing how Bilbo be strutting like a boss, them dwarves be giving him mad respect. Then all them players arrive at the Lonely Mountain, where Small be chilling with his stash. Bilbo puts on the ring, sneaks into the dragon's lair, and boosts some of his ice. When Smog realizes that somebody be ganking his swag, he goes hyphy in his bitch and starts tearing up the nearby towns where he gets his shit wrecked by some player named Bard. Now that Smog be dead, them humans say, Yo, since the dragon jacked up our crib, we want some of that cheddar. But Thorn be all like, Nah, blood, I ain't giving y'all shit. So them homies about to war with the dwarves when Gandalf drops in and says, Break yourself, fool! Wars and goblins about to brawl up in here. So all them players, men, elves, and dwarves strap up and wreck them haters. But in the end, Thorin gets shanked. On his deathbed, Thorin goes out like a G and admits to Bilbo that he been acting a fool. Then Bilbo takes only the cash he can carry and finds his way home back to Bag End. There and back again. You heard? At the beginning of this book, Bilbo be acting like a little old bitch cause he ain't got the balls to get off his hairy ass and get his adventure on. I'm just saying. But as things start getting real, Bilbo ups his game and starts keeping it gangster. Like when he saves the dwarves from them crusty ass spiders, he not only clocking some mad courage, but he straight up sacrificing himself to draw them spiders away from his boys. So by the end, Shorty don't want to be a thug, he straight up is one. Look, if you want to get this shit all the way turned up, you best recognize the importance of dragon sickness, a term Tolkien used to describe Smog's obsession with that fat cash. When Bilbo and his posse roll up to the Lonely Mountain, they find that all that once green land is now all busted up. But it ain't all about the physical aspect, my man. Nah, this here detail serves as a metaphor for the destructive nature of greed, homeboy. In fact, all them homies get a little taste of dragon sickness. For example, Thorn be sipping too much of that haterade when them elves ask him for some cash to rebuild their crib. So when Big Daddy Dwarf gets murked in the end, he ain't got nobody to blame but himself. If you think this idea of greed and self-destruction only apply to the dragon and Thorn, you just ain't doing it big, son. When them trolls get their asses turned to stone, it ain't because Gandalf whooping them. Nah, blood, it's the trolls' tendency to fight amongst themselves that allows Gandalf to bust them up. So on the real, them trolls are undone by their own evil. And if you want to keep it triple OG up in here, you best peep the thematic connections between this book and The Ring Cycle by my man Ricard Wagner. Consider these two quotes, son. Only he who forswears love's power could win the world's wealth for his own. If more of us valued food and cheer and song above hoarded gold, it would be a merrier world. At the end of The Hobbit, that fool Thorn finally realizes that stacking fat cash means you dropping other values like courage and wisdom. Yet, in Das Rheingold, my boy Richie Dub saying that you can only make bank if you drop them values first. It's like they preaching the same cold truth, set backwards, know what I mean? Hey, thanks for tuning in, blood. Keep it real and press subscribe.